Well, happy Wednesday, Blacknell family. It's the 19th of May. I can hardly believe it. But uh, greetings in the name and the spirit of Jesus Christ. We are, as you can well imagine, trying to uh, adjust to the latest information we've received from the CDC. And there is a survey that we would love to have you fill out uh, as we feel our way back uh, to a worship life and gatherings as a church. We're eager to do so as rapidly as possible. We are uh, going to be increasing our uh, level of singing on Sunday morning gatherings, even while we ask you to continue to wear masks because uh, we're still uh, waiting for and looking forward to the time when everybody can get vaccinated who wants to get vaccinated. And uh, uh, in the meantime, we know that we are eager to lift our voices in praise. So the, the compromise for the moment, and it's changing week by week, is that we'll continue to wear masks, but we will be adding singing more frequently in our in our Sunday morning worship. And that's really good news for me, and I know it is good news for you too. There are things that you're going to find in the email below, uh, that survey that I just mentioned, the opportunity to register for worship services. There are still spaces uh, available for this coming Sunday. Uh, we are adding a third Sunday since it is my last Sunday to be preaching. I will be present the last Sunday in May, uh, participating in a limited way. But my uh, my last Sunday, opening God's Word after 35 and a half years with you all, will be this Sunday. And so uh, we are adding a, a third service between the 8.30 and the 11.15, and there's still spaces available. So uh, be sure and register, sign up for that opportunity. Uh, there is more information in the email below about events that are taking place around Betsy's and my uh, departure into retirement. Uh, so see below for those opportunities if you would like to participate in those. Um, pastorally, we have a few things that we want to, to make. Oh, well, before I do that, though, let me just encourage you. Even as we make steps to open up, it means that uh, more and more of us need to get used to participating in the uh, life of the church and Nowhere is that more important than what we can offer for our children. And so we're hoping that in June, we can offer uh, child care and children's church during the 8.30 service. And if we have more volunteers, then we will be looking forward to expanding those offerings as uh, rapidly as we can. So if you can participate in uh, child care for the 8, 8.30 service, please uh, let us know. You can sign up for that. Now, pastorally, um, uh, celebrations, we are uh, eager to say congratulations to Abby Turner on the occasion of her marriage. And I would invite your prayers for Amy Wisenan and Joe Crawl uh, on the soon-to-be uh, marriage between the two of them. And Grant Demarest is uh, soon to be married to his fiance Katie. So let's be praying for those three couples as they begin their lives together. There are folks who need our prayers for healing. Oscar Schoenfeld, as many of you know, is Allie's brother, is waiting for a heart transplant. Joe Krupe is recovering from a, a hip surgery. Um, there are many who are looking for job placements. Uh, Joe Bone is uh, facing some serious surgery. Uh, all of these folks and others need our prayers. Once again, I want to say thank you to you as a congregation as we anticipate our stepping away from Blacknell. Uh, it has been the greatest privilege of our lives to be with you. God bless you.